Here at Whakatane High School we've been piloting the Level 1 English Standards to the whole school, so that involves 200 students. There's four standards on offer, each one is worth five credits. Uh, two are assessed internally and two are ex assessed externally. One of the things that we've found as teachers is it's been a huge disruptor to our everyday teaching practice. It's really forced us out of our comfort zone. It has been a challenge, but it's been a really valuable challenge, and I think it's going to be one that is really beneficial to our students. The biggest change is how standards are assessed externally. Traditionally, it's always been an end-of-year exam, whereas this year, some of the work has actually been done in class. So it's been completed internally and, ex and assessed externally. That's a bonus because a lot of those key skills are actually assessed in those external standards. A lot of our students weren't completing the end of year exams, which meant that they were actually being omitted from those skills that were being assessed. There's a lot more student-led learning. So students have a lot more responsibility for their own learning and the choices in terms of the text that they select. This has meant that we've had better engagement from our students because they're actually selecting and studying texts that they actually enjoy and that are relevant to them. My advice to anyone wanting to be part of the pilot is that it is just a pilot. There's a lot of trial and error. One of the things that we've really learnt this year is the benefit of hindsight. However, it is a trial and the mistakes that we make are going to be corrected and we're able to feed back to the Ministry what to be aware of if you are piloting next year. So my advice would be to keep communicating with the Ministry of Education, NZQA, and more importantly, other piloteers. We're all in the same boat. But at times when you feel like you're getting lost, it's always really important to go back to that, that learning matrix. If you are considering piloting the Level 1 standards, I would really encourage people to look at the assessment activities and get a clear idea of exactly what you're going to be teaching and what's going to be working best for the students in front of you. We'd definitely do it again. It's been a huge challenge, but I think it's been a really important challenge. We needed that disruption because the NCA isn't working for some of our students. So we need to make changes to make it more equitable.